Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to go through a simple setup for an IK handle and this can be used for an arm for example. So to start off we're going to just use this cylinder which I've set to, it's just got 20 subdivisions and we're going to make this into some sort of an arm with an IK setup. So to start off we're going to the top view so you can get that menu up by holding the space bar and right clicking to bring up this menu, top view and in animation we'll select the joint tool and holding down, holding down X we'll click at the start one in the middle one in the end now to get to and then press enter so in order to see them you can press 4 to bring up the wireframe view or you can go into shading and x-ray which will show which will x-ray this mesh here or you can have x-ray joints so that's in the shading to get them up. So X-ray joints doesn't do anything X-ray to the thing, it just shows the joints through the mesh. So to start off with, if this was some sort of elbow, it's a hierarchy setup for the joints. So this will be your shoulder, your elbow in the middle, and then your wrist. So to start off with, what we want to do is when bending the elbow or adding an IK, it's best to add a little kink so Maya knows which direction the elbow is going to bend. So to do this, we can select this joint in the middle, and we can move it up. But in order to move it without moving this wrist joint over here, what we can do is hold down the D key, which brings up the pivot point mode, and holding D and moving it along, we can move that. So we'll move that up to add a bit of a kink. Now for the IK tool, we'll select this IK handle tool here, We'll click the first joint, which is the shoulder, click the last, and there we go. That's just added an IK handle, which you can see towards the wrist should be this small like little handle here that you can select. Now you can move this about like that. So what we'll do to preview this is we'll just select the joints, select the cylinder, skin, bind, skin, smooth bind, just default bind just so we can see the IK happening there. So as you can see, because we added that kink, it's, it's bending towards that kink. And there we go. So what we'll need when actually animating or making your own sort of rig, you'll need some sort of control over these different parts of the body. It's like you'll need some sort of control for this joint, because you won't want to animate the joints. So to do this, use curves or you'll see control curves on people's rigs. So for this tutorial we'll just make some simple cylinder, some simple circles. So for this one we'll just scale it up and move it and holding down the V key we can middle mouse click and wiggle on this joint to make it snap. And we'll just duplicate that um, by holding control D and again holding down V, you can wiggle that on the end, end over here. And just for a second, for another one, we'll create another one, hold down X for grid snap, and we'll make one up here. And I'll show you what that's for later on. Okay, so obviously you can make custom sh custom shapes for these, and you will for your rig or colour them different, but for now we're just using these default nerves curves. So, for the shoulder, we will select the joints, or oh, we'll select the curve, and then select the joints. So you select what's going to be controlling. So you select the parent first, then you select what it's going to be controlling. But before we do that, we'll need to select these curves, go to Modify, Freeze Transformations. Now, we do that because on these curves, they've got transformations, and if you're animating, if you want to set it back to a default pause, you set all these to zero. But obviously, because we've moved them about, zero is going to set them to back to the origin. So select these three curves. So just shift select them. It's just freezing a sec. All right, so we'll just shift select them again. Then go modify, freeze transformations. So that zeroes them out. Right, so adding connections, we'll select the curve first, select the joint, and in constraints, this in the animation, section is these constraints and we'll tear that off. Uh, there's going to be some more tutorials on these different types of constraints but for now we're just going to briefly go through them. 
So for this first one, we're going to add a parent constraint. Now what this does is this parents these joints to this curve. So we can move this curve and rotate. And as you can see, all that goes down the line. So these joints are parented to this curve. And also, what we'll need to do is select these two curves, then shift select that and press P. And make sure our caps lock is switched off as well. So what that'll do is that's not a parent constraint, that'll just parent these two curves to this curve. So whenever this curve moves, these two curves move as well. Okay, so now what we're going to do is select this one down here, which is going to be the wrist control. We're going to select the IK handle, which is the little handle here, and click point. And you saw a little snap there. The reason there's a snap, if you go into the options, which we'll drag along here, Right. Um, usually it snap the control curve to the same point as the IK handle so usually it's not a problem but if there's a problem or you wanted this control curve to have an offset so say so like if we moved this control curve over here then hit point as you can see there's a snapping occurring if you don't want that sort of snapping but you wanted the control curve to be somewhere else what you would do is um, reselect them and in the option box click maintain offset on. What this does is connects them up without that snapping effect. Now you might want the snapping effect so just bear that in mind. So what point constraint has done is now we can move this to where we want and it will move the IK handle. So this way we animate this curve instead of the IK handle and also it's a lot easier to select. Now we can see that this elbow's bending or this whatever part of your rig this would be, it's bending fine, but what if we wanted this to now bend upwards? Now to do that we'll need something called a pole vector. Now what a pole vector does is with an IK handle there's three points, it's like a triangle. There's one point over here, one point down here, and there's an imaginary point which Maya bends this IK, this joint chain towards. So the imaginary point's towards here, so that's why it bends that way. Now what a pole vector does is we want that third point to be this control curve. So wherever we move this curve to, the elbow will bend towards that curve. So to do that we'll select the curve, select the IK handle, and go on point pole vector even. Uh, now we selected it in the wrong way I think, so if we reselect the handle first, if we reselect the handle, then select the curve, then pole vector. Okay, so we're running a problem here. So if you select the curve, select the pole vector, as you can see, it says um, there's an error that's come up. It says uh, you must use rotate plane solver, and this has occurred because I've been using some rigs before and doing some work. So if you double click on the tool settings, or if you double click on this IK handle, as you can see, we had this set. Well, I had this set to IK SC, which is single chain. But for doing some sort of like a pole vector, you need RP. So if you start in this tutorial, uh, just check that RP, which is Rotate Plane Solver, is on. So I'm just going to pause this and redo the steps so we'll get back to where we are. Okay, so we've got this Rotate Plane Solver IK back here. So what we'll do is select the curve first, select what we're going to apply the constraint to, which is IK handle, and click Pole Vector. And as you can see this time it's worked. Now what you'll see that does is adds this line here and as we were saying the, the IK handle is a triangle so this line is makes this the third point so what, what that means is where we've moved this about as you can see the elbow is trying to face or whatever joint you want this to be is trying to bend towards this pole vector so if I now make a kink so bend this wherever we move this third point to the elbow joint will try and point towards this third point, this pole vector. So this has just been a short tutorial on setting it up. So with this as the parent, you can move that about, move the wrist about, and then change where it's going to bend towards. So this is just a short tutorial on IK handles and some of the constraints you want to set up. Uh, there's going to be a few more tutorials on rigging and a few more tips. So 
stay tuned and um, thanks for watching